Hello friends and welcome back to a universe where old men are always naked, morgues are filled with rotting bodies just clumped together, and Daniel is pretty crazy. So we're going to be playing Amnesia Justine. The last part was just practice because <laughs> I, th I, di I think I did glitch, like I fell through the floor, that didn't work too well, but uh, let's get going as the messages say here. And I've gotten a few requests to do this, so here I am, making you people happy. I do it for you! Um, right, so I feel less scared than last time, which is good. Less, a little less scared. It is daytime, <laughs> so that's, uh, well, that helps a little bit. Would you look at that? It's a shambling naked guy. What did I tell you? Told you he would be here. Look at him, he's shambling. Stop shambling, start walking like a normal person. What are you doing, man? You're like, you're gonna scare the babies. The babies that are here, you're gonna scare them, and they're gonna cry, and then they're gonna spit on you, and then it's you're just gonna be annoyed just because you can't walk right. That's gonna happen. Oops, okay. Hi, can I grab this? Thank you. Bienvenue. You are now listening to the sound of my disembodied Woo. voice. It will serve you no purpose to look for me, for this is a voice from the past. I bid you welcome to my cabinet of perturbation. It is my study of the human psyche, specifically yours. A set of recordings have been prepared to chaperone you through the chambers ahead. There are a few parts to this study, and it is up to you, not only to pass, but to figure out what elements are important. Please go on. Move into the next chamber. Right, so... so they can all be saved. There is always a way. So, this is a little extra part, continuing from the normal game. This is a DLC. And uh, over here is a dead end. It's a dead end right there. And uh, down here is a good old baddie. Look at that. Being bad shambling. Stop scaring the babies. You're scaring the babies. What's over here, actually? I don't think I went over here last time. No, it's just another... What the hell? Broken... La I took a broken ladder? Why would I take a broken ladder? It just seemed like I'm hauling that around. I don't see a broken ladder anywhere. But, um... Yeah, so we're playing as a girl. I know that because... Well, you can't hear right now, but when she jumps, she pants, and you can tell by her voice. She's a girl. So now I thought the guy, the monster, kind of shambles around randomly, but it's actually just when you walk into this room here. Because I, uh... I believe. Yeah, see, so you can hear him. I, um, I did a practice... Not a pra I tried recording this, and then I got stuck. Um, so I actually know that, that way. So, yeah, all this stuff, French people, because it's like Le and Avril, you know, French. So, uh, as you very well know, Chief Police turned down my quest to, her, to pursue Justine Florbel, stealing my son away. So, uh, Aloy, his, this lady's son, has forsaken his duties to his family, failed to pursue his career. So, uh, an expert, he's an expert in the human psyche. He believes he may have found a legal way to incarcerate her. Right. So, uh, they want to get rid of this Justine, whoever she is, I'm sure. That's who the voice in the, uh, the pre-recorded message was. Probably. I would imagine. Where is this shambler? I'm gonna call him shambler. Cause, oh shit, he's right there. Save me! God, dear God. Okay, he's leaving. He's going over there. Which is good, because it's not in here. He's going over there. He's crying, because all the babies in the world hate him. Alright, I think he's gone. Crouch just to be sure. 
Last time I didn't run into any problems with him, but that doesn't mean it's going to be safe this time. This is amnesia after all. Scariest freaking thing in the world. Ah, huh, here a nice little... You got the little violin sword thing, I don't know what the hell it's called, the little... That thing that you play the violin with, here's a violin. Let's just carry this around for a while, there's some sheet music. Alright, I'm gonna make myself some nice music here. Some very nice music, I'm gonna serenade myself. Serenade, is there anything in here? What the hell's that? I hear something. There's like a, there's like a rats in the walls, right? There's rats in the walls. I'm telling you, they're, they're crawling around. You are. If you could help me, I would be much obliged. Hey, you have no face. You have a little. Dan, what the hell's that? What? Okay, I'm scared. Somebody save me. I'm dead. I'm screwed. Okay, open the door. Not Daniel, open the door, come on. Well now it sounds like a guy panting. Oh, someone's praying. There's a Bible here. Check it out, maybe this is like memories that we're hearing. Of that guy. I know who that guy is. Because I read the note that's in that room over there and there's nothing in here. So, uh, all right, ooh, little hatch, okay, so, ah, huh, forgive me. What the hell's that noise? Close this, and there's applause, what the hell? What's going on? This, what the, well, I don't even know what that, that's like a tennis racket, I think? I don't know. Justine, my love! I know I'm not as talented as Melo, or as strong as Basil. But I am certain my love is truer. Do not my scars tell you so? I will continue to cut myself as long as it ple What kind of masochist lovers are these? I would even kill Basil if you wish. I know you say you like it, but he is hurting you. I will trick him to consume the bromide. Poor Justine, I will help. Just ask me to help Aloy. That's the guy that supposedly got kidnapped. Or stolen. I don't know. But uh, pretty much... What I got stuck on is the thing, it's that you can either kill them to move on or find an alternate way to move on. Uh, I believe this one you have to jump and throw something, throw something at that hatch, I think. No, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, maybe that's not strong enough, maybe I have to get a box. Um, so yeah, there's two, two, uh two things you can do. You can kill the guy that's in there by just pulling this lever. Super easy. You can kill him or you can find a uh, a way to not kill him. Which is what I'm going to try and do here. If I can. So, uh... Well, that doesn't work, does it? Oh, I have a broken ladder, don't I? Maybe I could use that. Piece of a broken ladder. No object to use. I don't want that. Lies. Maybe I can make like a, a little bridge. Or not a bridge, a staircase is what I'm trying to say here. Staircase. Alright, so hop up. Yeah, see when she jumps, you can tell she's a girl. Huh. Help me, please help me. Alright, yeah, if you go up here, just can you hear me? Will not not budge. To set things right. So let's see, Aloy guy. Maybe I can throw like a, a bear actually that probably won't throw well. I need like a rock. I need a, a nice solid rock. That's what I need. And she she runs pretty quickly. Check it out. She does. And uh, I don't know what's behind this bed here. Nothing. There's nothing. See, I'm taking a while doing this, and I apologize for that. But I don't know this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing really. Maybe I can throw the violin up there. Let's try it. There's also a hatch right here, which I don't know how to open it, because that won't budge either. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Maybe I can throw a violin up here. 
No, that doesn't work either. Um. How did you escape? I know I escaped. The door was open. That usually works pretty well when the door is open. I don't really know. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we have to use the ladder. No, come on. You're lying to me. Okay, can I? There you go. Oh, that's that's way not tall enough. Oh, I can kind of grab on unrealistic. No, damn it. Maybe I need another box. That would be good. Let's get another box over here. Let's let's try this out here. And then put this on top. If I can. If I can balance it. Damn you, physics. Damn you. How about right there? Okay, let's try that out. Let's see how this works. Can I can I get up here? There you go. That's what I'm talking about. So now we're through here, and I don't know anything beyond that point. I didn't know that, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, this will be a surprise now. Right. Hey, there's bugs. That's always good. I... Wait, is it dark in you? What the hell is that? Okay, that's scary. I'm gonna run. That's scary. I'm scared. Something's gonna pop out? Actually, no, it's not amnesia. Well, no, the Iron Maiden. Actually, what's back here? What's over here? I'm scared. Oh, someone hold me. Subscribers, where are you? You need to hold me right now. Okay, that's that's blocked off. Is there anything? No, alright. Just, just checking. This music, oh man. It's gonna be something right around the corner. I'm telling you. Let me tell you. Alright, let's go down here. Alright. Ow, ow! Hey, check it out. Another sonogram. What, what, what is this called? Like, there's no cylinder. A phonograph, that's what I'm thinking of. There's no cylinder in the phonograph. Phonograph? I think it's pronounced phonograph. I don't know. It was quite some time ago. There's a blood trail leading to that door, so that obviously means we should go to this door. This blood is good. I think. Right? I think so. That's, that's what my uh, teacher taught me. So what's this? There's a guy crying, there's a face, there's a butt. Oh man, that's some nasty ass porn you got there. I don't want that. Okay. That's oh, a little thing. The fireplace thing that you blow the air. Ooh, no. Oh lord. Newspaper article, 19th of March, 1858. So that's probably around what time this is. Travesty at the conservatory. Uh, how about I read this in my head? You can pause if you want. So, yeah. Alright, so it seems like he was drunk off his ass. And he couldn't play the violin right. And there's like a torture table here. Alright, ooh, sonograph, can I, can I play this one? Congratulations for coming this far. I'm so excited for you. I do hope you managed to save Monsieur Fournier. I did. He was a friend and a colleague of my papa, you know. Friendly fellow, a real bon garçon, but frail of mind. He puts up an impressive front, but it is all an act, I assure you. Please, go on. We are just getting started. Right, so... To save these guys, you just have to not kill them. That's how you save them. <laughs> and then you leave them to starve, pretty much, apparently. 
I guess that's kind of how it works in the early. Like, sure. 